Recipe of the day tastes like a dream, says Sarita Gellner from Ritzy Mom Blog. Now, you may remember Sarita from the Great American Baking Show, and she's been here on Show Me St. Louis many, many times before. And she has a recipe to share with us today for mascarpone tart. Sarita, it is so good to see you again. So what do you love about this recipe? Today, making this beautiful summer tart. It's a mascarpone tart that has silky smooth filling, a really crunchy, salty, sweet crust. Everything just really melts together, and we're gonna put some fresh berries on top. It's perfect for Labor Day weekend, because, you know, we've gotta have a, a special tart for that, dessert always. So I'm really excited to show you this. It's super easy to make, and that's a really good thing, too. Is it kind of like a cheesecake? Say it's similar to a no-bake cheesecake. Instead of using cream cheese, we're using mascarpone cheese, and that's just sweet and creamy. It gives you a really delicate, silky filling. So it's different, but has similar properties as a cheesecake as well. And it takes just minutes to make. Well, yeah. we just have minutes. So where do we start? <laughs> so we're gonna start with our crust. It's a mixture of pretzels and graham crackers. That's gonna give you a really stable, crunchy, thick, crust that has that salt factor for punch. You're gonna grind out it up into crumbs. You can always use pre-made crumbs. I use my food processor. I have some tips in the recipe notes for you too. To that, we're gonna add some brown sugar to give it a little bit of sweetness and depth and richness. A little pinch of fine sea salt that's gonna amp up that saltiness to play on the sweetness of the filling. And then of course, we want a lot of melted butter because butter makes everything better. And we're gonna pour that in. You're gonna use a nine or 10 inch tart shell for this. So really it's your choice. This is, if you've used a nine inch, it's gonna give you a little bit more depth to the filling. And you're gonna pour it right in there and spread it out. And then I always like to show you, you can use a little measuring cup to push it down into your tart shell. That's gonna give you the ability to spread it and get the edges. Perfect. So I don't know if you've been making a lot of tarts. I've been seeing you've been baking a lot on Instagram, Dana. I am just trying to make you proud. I have picked up some uh, baking skills uh, during the pandemic. Thank you very much. Um, very simple. My uh, my baked goods are not great, but I, they I mean, look I, amazing. You've been using, and I've been seeing you've been using a lot of fruit fresh fruit and berries, making shortcakes. And this is really kind of a play on what summer is all about with all that fruit and creaminess. And then you're just gonna bake this for 10 minutes, let it cool. And in the meantime, we're gonna make the filling and we're gonna have a little bit, we have our mascarpone cheese right in here. To that, we're gonna add here, let me move this so you can see. We're gonna add just a little splash of honey. It really brings out the beauty of that cheese. Some granulated sugar that has a pinch of salt in it. And we're just going to whip this on low so that you guys don't uh, you can still hear me. It's just a light whipping. Add a little bit of vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract. Another great thing about this tart is you can mix it up with any flavor that you want. So if you want to add some orange zest or lemon zest, you're going to go for it. You can add almond extract. And then to that, this, I mean, this is just so easy. This is all we're doing. Now we're just gonna add in some pre-whipped whipped cream. So you're gonna put some heavy cream into a bowl and you're just gonna whip it and then you're gonna fold it into this filling. And it's gonna be smooth and luscious and creamy. I don't know if you can see that, but it just is really beautiful and smooth and it tastes like a dream. Really, really good. Wow. And we're gonna put that into the baked tart shell and just spread it out. And you know, if you want to get creative, you could pipe it. Dana, you're going to be uh, making some lovely piping for me out of this, I'm sure, right? No. And then we're going to, yes, you will. I want to see it. Okay. So then we're just going to take any fruit of your choice and you're going to lay it on there and make, you know, a design or just put it any way you want to. I just have some sliced strawberries here because it's still summer. So we're going to use some summer berries and it just looks so pretty. And for Labor Day, we've got that red, white, and blue then with some blueberries. And you're going to sprinkle those on. And if you want to, for a little extra flair, you can use some melted down strawberry jam and brush it on for a little bit of glazed look. And then you're just going to let this sit in the fridge for about an hour and then it's ready to serve. And that's it. And then I made a little mini tart 
for you guys to see. I mean, these are really beautiful. The crunch is there, the creaminess, the freshness of those juicy berries. It's really the perfect summer for dessert. Okay, before we go, now I call it mascarpone. However you pronounce it, can you tell people where to find it? Right next to where the ricotta cheese is. The cre um, you know, sometimes they put it by the cream cheese, but usually it's in the cheese aisle of your grocery store with the ricotta and the fresh mozzarella. So it's just, you know, it's easy to find. You can ask somebody too, but it's a beautiful cheese. You gotta try this tart. Thank you so much. I'm gonna try it. Watching for you, Dana. You're gonna have some pretty piping in there. You're gonna make it look beautiful, I know it. You can find this recipe after the show on YouTube. Just search KSDK News or on the Five on Your Side app. For more delicious sweet treat recipes, check out ritzymom.com and follow Sarita on social media.